How to integrate Square with Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be teaching you how you will be able to integrate and make an interaction between Square and Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is a platform where you will be able to create different websites. While in Square, you will be able to manage your different purchases and basically handle all money flow or like how the transaction goes. And in today's video, I would like to show different methods, specifically two methods for us to be able to make them work together. So indirectly, we will be able to connect Squarespace and Square, also known as Square Up right now, through Zapier and another platform that I would discuss later on. In Zapier, you will be able to create automations or interactions or scenarios between different platforms and make one platform do something with another platform when something happens. So to give you an example, let's say email. If I received an email, I could make an in um, I could make an interaction or an automation wherein if I receive a specific email, it will automatically be listed in our Excel sheet. So that's an example of an automation. And over here in Zapier, we could do that by clicking on create over here on the top left. As you can see here, there are different things that we will be able to do. We have Zaps, which is automated workflows, tables, which is automatic or automated data storage, chatbots, interface, and canvas over here. So we're going to open Zaps over here. So the Zaps are the different automations that you will be able to perform. Now over here, we have a trigger and an action. So what we're going to do is we could choose between Square or Square Up or Squarespace as a trigger. Do you want the interaction to begin when something happens in Square or in Squarespace? So as an example, let's choose Squarespace as our, our trigger. So open Squarespace. Click on Squarespace over here. And now it has been set to be the trigger, as you can see. Now we could choose what event would happen. So over here, the currently available one is that tr trigger when a form submission is submitted. So you could choose that as the trigger for your Squarespace. And then after that, you could click on continue. And you're basically just going to log into your Squarespace account and connect it with Zap to allow the interaction to occur. Now for the trigger or the action that would happen after these triggers, we can simply search square and click on square over here as you can see. And we could choose the after effect or the event as well. So you could choose what would happen. So for example, if a new form is submitted in Squarespace, for example, maybe uh, a survey form that you have, you could add that person who submitted the form as a customer to a group or you could even choose uh, inv an appointment, an invoice, a customer, uh, different types of interactions over here. It depends on how you would like to set it up or how you set it up with our Zapier or with our Squarespace over here and square up. So for the sake of this example, let's say I would like to add it to the group. Click on continue and as you can see, it's going to ask us to perform at the same interaction or the same uh, account setup where you're going to log in. Then you can also add additional steps if you want more things to happen. For example, you just you don't only want to have uh, uh, the customer to be added to a group. You could also want it to be an appointment, stuff like that. You could add as many uh, steps over here in between. You could... Uh, drag each other around if you want to have a specific one uh, to be first. You could also modify a specific one. You could rename it if you want to have a specific name for it. You could duplicate, copy, add note, add a error handler over here if and when something bad happens. Uh, you could put a separate interaction for that. Now, similarly, we also have a different platform which is called Make. So make.com is very similar to Zapier, but this time, uh, you will be able to have more triggers. Also, over here, let's actually show you guys what would happen if it's a different trigger. So, I guess we would need to start over over here. 
let's show you what would happen if we have a trigger for square so to just show you guys the the option for that one so go back to our zaps over here trigger let's choose square this time there we go select event and as you can see there's more option it's a different option it depends on which platform will be the trigger and there's a lot of different scenarios or interactions that you will be able to perform. So we're here in Make. Let's click on the plus over here. Simply search for Squarespace. There we go. And as you can see, uh, you will be able to choose different options over here. So uh, you have Watch Products, List Products, Create Products, Get Products, Upload Variants, all of these things, uh, Watch Orders. So let's say triggers when orders are created. So we could select that. And we're going to click on create a connection. And over here, we're going to save this. It's basically going to ask you to connect your Squarespace account as well. And after this, we're going to add the next module or the next step. So we're going to search for Square, as you can see. And you have the different list over here. So uh, let's click on create order. Click on OK for now. Let's exit this. So basically what we did now uh, with Make is that it will watch for orders that would occur in Squarespace. Maybe you have set up a, a shop with Squarespace. So uh, with this interaction that I have made, if an order has been made in Squarespace, it will automatically create the same order in Square. So you could have that interaction. You could modify and create different types of interactions. You guys saw earlier the different uh, versions, the different types that we could have. Uh, we could go back over here. Let's discard this. Uh, we could create a new scenario. And let's do it again. Let's search a square this time as the initial. There we go. And then you have these different things as you can see. So maybe you could have list payments or get payments if you want. Something like this. It depends on how you would like these things to interact with each other. So add another module. Uh, there's also other tools over here that you could use. Uh, you're not limited to just square and square up if you want or if you can interact more things together. You could also do that. And let's up square space over here. And for the get payment, let's say I would like to have uh, maybe inventory, something like that. And then you could add modules again. You could have as many connections as you want. You could have as many interactions or workflow as you want or automation as you want. So uh, that's basically it. That is how you will be able to integrate Squarespace and Square together. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.